Hello, this is Reba Nance, and today's tip is using the full version of Adobe Acrobat to save emails in Outlook and move them out of Outlook and store them on your hard drive. Um, I talked to a gentleman one time who was um, doing this um, the, the long way. He would uh, open up an Outlook email, print it out, scan it in, convert it to PDF, and then save it on his hard drive. And fortunately, there is a much easier way to do it. Now, you do need to have the full version of Adobe Acrobat. Um, and in my view, that's reason enough to buy the full version of the software um, for this function alone. I've got a tab up here, um, so I do have this loaded. Let me show you easy, easily and quickly how to do this. Uh, I go over here to my Outlook folders, and I've got one called Smith & Jones. This is a folder that I've created, and suppose the Smith v. Jones matter is over, and I want to convert everything in this folder and get it out of Outlook. So first, first of all, I want to come over to this. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This is the, this is the uh, folder with the emails that I want. So all I need to do is come back here. I'm going to right click and click and choose convert this folder to Adobe PDF. So I click on that and it goes ahead and brings up this screen and it wants to know where I want to save it. So for the ease of this demonstration, I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to call it Smith v. Jones and I'm going to click on save and it then begins to convert all these emails. Now what it does at the end is pull up Adobe Acrobat and you can see what it's done here is to take the emails that I had and convert them to a portfolio in PDF. So these are all the ones. Um, you can see this is Smith v. Jones and these are the five emails that I had. Now the beauty of this is how easy it is to find emails this way. I can click on from and it puts it in uh, alphabetical order by the sender. I can click again and it puts it in reverse order. I could search for them by subject or put them in order of subject. And what's nice about this is then I could have them, uh, all of the emails on, with the same subject would be together. The date, again, I can click and put it in order, and now it's in reverse cron order. And it also saves the attachments. So if I want to go over here and pull up the one from Joe Kelly and look at the attachment, all I need to do is double click the attachment. It wants to know if I want to open it. I'll say OK, and here is the, the attachment to that email in um, Word, and it's just that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to close this as well, and uh, suppose then later on um, I get another email that I want to be able to add to this same portfolio that I saved. Um, and it's, again, very easy to do that. So suppose I, suppose this is the email that I want to send. I'm, I'm sorry, I want to append, <clears throat> excuse me. All I need to do is highlight that email, right click and choose append to Adobe PDF. Pulls up and it wants to know what file I want to append it to. So I'm going to choose the desktop because that's where I saved it. And I'm going to scroll down here and it was the Smith v. Jones. I want to append it to the end of that. And it goes ahead and grabs it, pulls it up. And now you can see now I have six emails even counts them up for you. So now I've got that last one and again this one is now part of this portfolio. I can click on it, um, order them any way that I want and it's just that easy if you have the full version of Acrobat to convert emails in a folder or individual emails and get them out of Outlook and onto your hard drive.